welcome back to the Jamaican Taste Buds Kitchen. My name is Aisha and today guys I have a very special video for you. Today I will be making some authentic Jamaican mackerel rondon. So guys, a few weeks ago I did a spin the wheel challenge on my life and a few people chose some recipes they like to see. So Jazzy and Anisha, big up yourself for joining the live. Anisha, you chose the wings challenge. Jazzy, you chose the mackerel rundown. And the next videos that were chosen were the shrimp pepper pot soup and the stew pork. What I did was I spun the wheel and these were the recipes that were chosen. So guys, if you want to know how I put the flavor of love into my recipes, just stay tuned for more. Remember to subscribe, like, share and comment on this video and tell me what you think about my meal today. Okay guys, I am totally feeling this lighting right now. So guys, these are the ingredients for my mackerel rondon. So guys, I have here a whole mackerel, salt mackerel, that I'll be boiling twice to get the salt out before combining it with the other ingredients. I have over here some coconut milk. I have my natural seasoning, which are my onions, my whole scotch bunny pepper, two pegs of garlic, my thyme, my scallion, my bell peppers, and over here I have some curry. I'm just going to add a little bit of curry, guys, not much. And guys, over here, I'm going to be taking some of the scallions from my water scallion garden, guys. All I'm going to do is just cut the top off, put it back in water, and it's going to go right back. Okay, guys, the first thing I'll be doing, guys, is I'll be washing off the excess salt of the salt mackerel and then we're gonna cut up the salt mackerel for the pot i know a lot of people are scared of the head of the fish because they complain about the eyes staring back at them do 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 it's already dead it won't do anything do 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 guys a lot of people don't realize that what gives your food flavor when you're cooking any type of meat or poultry or any type of seafood, the head gives it the flavor and the bones. So remember guys, it's dead. It's not gonna do anything, okay? <laughs> Okay guys, so now that I cut up my salt mackerel, yes, the head included, dun dun dun, I will be boiling my salt mackerel for 15 minutes each so that I could boil off the excess salt and I'll be boiling it in just some plain water. Right here I have my pot with the water that is boiling up. So we're just going to boil that for 15 minutes and that cloudiness is just the salt that's in the macro so i'll boil this for 15 minutes and then we'll be right back okay guys so while the salt mackerel is boiling what i'll be doing right now is just prepping the seasonings for the rundown okay guys so what i'll be doing now is just cutting up my seasonings for my rundown <laughs> Okay guys, the first 15 minutes has passed, so I will just drain this salty water off and I'll add a second set of water for another 15 minutes and we'll boil it until the salt comes out. Okay guys, I'm just gonna drain off the first set of salty water. Guys, 
dumpling ready a joke the dough ready <laughs> okay guys so there's a lot of people out there who don't like peeling bananas I'm gonna show you a trick guys it's not really a trick so when you're boiling bananas, I'm just gonna break them off wash it very clean and just split the skin or the peel down the middle and what happens is that because of the iron the peel of the banana it keeps the water clean Okay guys, so now that I finished boiling the mackerel, what I'll be doing now is just separating it into smaller pieces and taking out the bones. Guys, remember, if you're giving this, this to kids, take out the bones. Okay guys so right here I have right here I have the coconut milk that I'll be boiling for the mackerel rundown and I'm gonna boil it until it turns into a thick custard Okay guys so my custard is ready and how you know it's ready guys is that you see it starts separating the oil is starting to separate from the coconut milk and right now what I will do is I will just add my natural seasonings with a whole scotch bonnet pepper and also my salt I like my meals to look full.
okay guys so now you see the custard is building up so what I'm gonna do guys just for a little color okay guys I'm gonna just add a little curd powder just for the color it's not gonna change the taste it's gonna add a little bit of color to the to the rundown this is how we do it in the Jamaican taste buds kitchen guys I'm just gonna let this reduce for a little more and then and then I'll present the finished product to you guys okay guys so this is the finished product for my mackerel rundown so guys look at that beautiful spread and I have paired the mackerel rundown with some boiled dumplings some yellow yam and some boiled bananas so now that my meal is finished it's time for the taste test okay guys so this is the finished product I got some dumplings with some boiled bananas and some yellow yam and now that the meal is finished it's time for the taste test so I'm gonna try the mackerel first dun 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 <laughs> guys the one thing I like is that the coconut in the macaron dung has a sweet taste from the custard and I'm gonna taste it with the soft yellow yam mmm guys this dish is a hit and it was one of my favorite childhood meal every time I think about the name dip and fall back slash rundown i just get that cozy warm childhood feeling inside mm. my granny would be proud and as my granny used to say i saw food for tears <laughs> 